Millers. I've got a rather silly story for you today. It's a rhyming story. I like, I like rhyming books. It's called, You Can't Take an Elephant on the Bus, or Can You? This story is written by Patricia Cleveland Peck and illustrated by David Tazziman. And he is the, author, uh, the illustrator of the Mr Gum books. A lot of our Key Stage 2 readers love and enjoy Mr Gum. Here we go. Bus tickets ready? You can't take an elephant on the bus. It would simply cause a terrible fuss. Elephants' bottoms are heavy and fat and would certainly squash the seats quite flat. And don't sit a monkey in a shopping trolley, for monkeys are naughty and find it jolly to snatch your shopping and chuck it about. No, leave monkey at home when you go out. Nor should a tiger travel by train. Think of the panic, think of the pain. Tigers are built to spring and to leap. Think of the passengers half asleep. You would get a shock, wouldn't you? And don't hail a taxi if the driver is a seal. Can you see him? With such slippery flippers, he can't grasp the wheel. The taxi will slither and probably swerve, then throw everyone out at the very next curb. A centipede on roller skates is rather bizarre. With 100 feet, he'd go fast and go far. But to put on his boots would take him an age. He'd get into a temper, he'd get into a rage. Imagine that, 100 pairs of laces to tie. And don't put a camel in a sailing boat. It's far too tricky to keep afloat. His hump and his feet would, I think, capsize the vessel and make it sink. A giraffe in an aeroplane wouldn't be right. The roof of a plane just doesn't have the height. With legs and a neck so long, so bony and long, a giraffe on a plane would simply be wrong. And don't ask a whale to ride a bike. Just imagine what it would be like without a bottom to sit on the seat. And how would he pedal without any feet? That does look funny. A pig on a skateboard. Another mistake. He'd be too heavy. It would probably break. Or his trotters would totter, unable to grip. And up and over, the skateboard would flip. And I wouldn't put a hippo in a hot air balloon. The basket's too small, there wouldn't be room. And if it did fly with hippo's great weight, it would come crashing down in a terrible state. And never let a bear near an ice cream van. Bears gobble up ice cream as fast as they can. And if they're stopped, they get annoyed. And an angry bear is one best to avoid. What a mess. Then how can we travel, the animals shout. How can we animals get carried about? What's the best vehicle? We haven't a clue. Well, I've got an idea. How about you? Can you think of anything? Something with enough room for animals of all sizes? Yes! Animals on roller coasters are good for a laugh. There's room here for everyone, even giraffe. So it's goodbye to skateboards, balloons and that bus. For now we have a conveyance that suits all of us. Looks fun. Whee! And Pig is still on his skateboard. <laughs> Funny book. You can't take an elephant on the bus. Bye bye.